it's been like a while since the last time I uploaded. The last time I uploaded was a vlog and I'm so sorry. I've just been busy. I got a new position at work and I'm super pumped and excited about it. I've been studying and just doing all kinds of stuff with this new position. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I finally got my dream position that I've been studying for. And that's why I haven't been able to post new YouTube videos. But anyways, speaking of new videos, Fat Fab is coming up in a few days and if you guys are youtubers I invite you guys to do fat fab fat fab is all you do is just title your videos whatever video you're gonna be doing and it's internet video you hashtag a fat fab which is so cool like it's like a it's like vlogmas you remember vlogmas back during Christmas time but we're doing fat fab and fat fab it could be anything on your channel and all you do is you know just say fabulous during the month of February so if you get a request from me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook then you are it you guys know we like you get into tag videos you guys know if you have a tag to do it you are it. This is my first time filming a video at night with my new mirror. <laughs> I've been loving my new mirror and it's been pretty good. So this is my first time like <laughs> filming at night time and usually it looks so bad at night and I want to show you guys a difference. So this is what it looks like at night. Whoa. And that's what it looks like with my camera, with my new <laughs> um, mirrors, I was like, whoa, trying to figure out what I was talking about. But this is like um, my new setup, my baby. Let's see it one more time. So this is what it looks like without the mirror, and this is like what I've been um, dealing with for the past three years of YouTube, okay? This is what I've been dealing with. So this is without it. Uh oh, camera adjustment. Okay, this is without it. You can barely see what's going on, right? So now I get a little bit of okay. Woo! I was just so excited, like so excited, so excited. And I have another question for you guys before we get into this tutorial. Um, I want to know: Do you guys love my vlogs? Do you guys want them twice out of a week? Because I won't be able to do them daily due to my new position. I will have. If you guys want to know what my new position is, check out my description box. It will be there. Um, this is my new position and things. I will be able to vlog, vlog daily. So, um, I thought about putting like vlogging during the weekend and then posting it like during the week. Like do a Friday, Saturday, Sunday vlog and then post it all in one vlog. I thought about doing something like that. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. How would you like? you know my vlog so to be because I am so loving vlogging I mean I have a second channel a lot of people a lot of you are subscribed to my second channel by the way so if you uh, have if you like vlogs or anything like that I do have a second channel it's Dion side TV so if you prefer me to post vlogs on that channel if you want to see what's going on outside of YouTube like the beauty segment or whatever then comment below how would you like my videos to be set up now remember I cannot do them daily but I'm just trying to figure out so you guys can get more of me and oh yeah and I'm just so excited about Fat Feb like I said in the intro this is the intro earlier in the intro and I'm just super excited but yeah this tutorial is a little bit of colorful look here and I love this lipstick that I am wearing and this tutorial is from JLB Cosmetics and this is the one in Diva so I'm super excited about that lipstick and it's just like a dark vampy lip color and then with some affordable eyeshadow palette so yeah so let's go ahead and get this video going because it's to this intro so this tutorial is already about four minutes long, so I will see you guys um during the video. Let's go. Alrighty everyone, it's tutorial time. And let's get started. What we normally do during our tutorial, we're going to moisturize our face. The moisturizer is the best, especially around this time of the year. Everyone's skin changes a lot. And I have big problems with that. I already did my brows, so 
that'll be linked below a tutorial but everyone have props to their skin so now I'm just taking is my favorite Maybelline baby skin this will be listed in a favorites video coming up soon so be on the lookout for my January favorites oh yeah so next I am going to be taking is a great product that I love and I kind of like to do this step if I'm not wearing foundation on my eyes I like to go ahead and just wear straight to powder because sometimes during the day if I'm going somewhere I don't really have time to just apply eyeshadow on my my face excuse me a uh, foundation on my face so instead of a powder I just go ahead and just do the easy way and go ahead with my powder taking the NYX jumbo base in I am going to take it and I'm going to apply it to the eyes actually this one is in the bait this is yeah NYX jumbo base and skin tone and then I'm going to take the NYX jumbo base and milk and milk is you know the little long pencils yeah but I depotted mine it's easy to do the pot than just having to keep sharpening because the more product you will, will like there's more product you will have when it comes down to um the potting you will have so much product left over it's great and i use like a little medicine bottle to like pot it so now i'm gonna take an oldie but goodie but an affordable palette from elf and i love the colors of this palette this is from their spring collection a couple years back I'm going to take those two colors, the brown and the gold, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the gold to my lip first, and then after I apply the gold to my lip first, I'm going to take the brown and kind of deepen up the outer V just a little bit and kind of go over it just a little bit on the lid because you want that whole, you know, section covered, okay, besides your inner to the area. So I'm just going to be taking that and I, now I'm going to take in the green or the tillest color and I'm just going to apply it in my inner corner. It looks so gorgeous. If you follow my IG then you definitely know why. Instagram is Beauty Body on a D. It will be linked in the down bar below as, as well as all of the products and things. So please go check out that. Better up close pictures <laughs> will be there. So I'm just going to continue to apply the colors. And next I'm going to be taking is the downtown palette by LA colors I love the downtown palette it's so great and I'm just gonna take that transition shade and I'm just gonna apply it to the crease this is so good you guys I love applying transition shade to the crease it's just everything <laughs> and then while I'm applying my transition shade I'm kind of blending out every harsh line that I saw in my eyes because I really do not love harsh lines I do not no one loves harsh lines you guys and I'm going to be taking a vanilla shade from the palette and I'm going to apply it under my brow. This is like a peachy vanilla shade. It's not like that white that's not attractive, but it's a shade and it's everything. So it's very great. And another thing that um, I do like about the shade is that it looks so neutral. Depends on how you wear it. You can apply it onto your leg. You know, you can do eyeshadow, anything. Any step. And it's still a great. <laughs> so now I'm just going to take a dark black of course i got to do this stuff what beauty by the other tutorial tutorial isn't right without deep it up with the crease with um black eyeshadow what i mean crazy right okay so i'm just going to do that kind of give it like a little bit more of definition and i'm going to take that transition transition shade i always stutter or have props with that okay and apply it to the crease you know kind of like Blend it out because you, you guys can see you want to focus on that shade okay then after that I am going to be taking the Revlon palette I love their palettes they're so adorable and I'm going to be taking that gold and I'm just going to give it just a little bit pop you know just a little bit not too much but just just enough just enough and I'm going to be taking that and I'm going to just apply it. Then I'm going to take my favorite, the Elf Cream Eyeliner. I'm just going to apply a couple of coats and then I'm going to apply mascara. And then I'm going to apply my face makeup and that is it for the tutorial.
so right now I'm just going to do a little bit of bronzing and before I go any further I'm just gonna give you guys like two um, lip combos for this look it's so great so before I do my two lip combos I was having so much fun with this look like if you guys saw my Nikki K review this is the clip that I use a part of the review because I'm, I'm using that concealer and yes Pandora be rocking okay so and then I'm gonna be applying my blush Blush, I decided to just tone it down because, you know, I got a lot going on in my eyes. Just got to make sure you do that because you don't want a lot going on. Then I'm going in with the Rebel Eye Palette, the same eyeshadow color that I use for my lid. And we're going to take the same thing as a highlight for my cheekbones because that is like really, that is like really something good to do. And it's really great because, I mean, you don't really have to go all out with a highlighter. You can use whatever product and keep going. So here are the two lip combos I'm gonna be taking a red lipstick from JL JLB Cosmetics it's called Carbonate and I'm just gonna apply it to my lips this is if you want to go like with the red and then also if you want to you know go a little bit more neutral this is one in Diva one of my favorites these two are gonna be mentioned in my favorite faves excuse me my January faves so check that out and that is it and I hope you guys enjoy this look and don't get to thumbs up and hashtag your videos for that if you want to participate and I gotta go. Love you guys.